this with my old friend A chance to share old memories Play a song again When I got to the garden party Why not go from the garden to the table? Why I know. You, you, I don't know why you wouldn't. And why not in between go from the mason jar to the table? Well, see, here's where initially I was not really k- registering what you were talking about until I saw the pictures on our, our on our website, Which yourhomewizards.com. Is your Home Wizards fan. Yeah. And then you said, I said to you off air, does it stay fresh? And what was your answer? Crisper than ever. Crispiness galore. And the good news is, you know, making a salad every night during your dinner preparation is kind of a pain. It takes a lot of time. So, by the way, who are you? I'm Eric Stroman. And I'm Cindy Dole, and this is Home Wizards. And so I wanted to share with you. By the this way, is a- not only am I Eric Stromer, I'm Eric Stromer mason jar salad believer that's who i am that's right I've, i'm converted i've been healed because you didn't really know you, i didn't you know couldn't get i didn't visual. know what you were saying All really. right. yeah. so so this is a craze when you go online there are pinterest followers of just what to put in a, in a mason jar in terms of salads and so um when i discovered this i thought you know what i've got to i've got to do this so i did this last weekend and i went to michael's because you know you can get my, you can get mason jars in a lot of places but yeah. i wanted to get a big one you want the big one like I, the I, kind that grammy is, used to make pickles this in. is a three cup one so this is good that's for two salad. this that's is a, good for two people so that's the si- that's the size for a two person salad yeah you can get okay. those little squatty ones the, you know the, the, nah, that's for, nothing that's well, not that'd be good for a kid's lunch no, May- oh maybe thinking, yeah so yeah. so the idea is you figure out how many of these mason jars and what size you need yeah and you know they're all over the place you can get them you get them all cleaned up you stage your area and then you go to town and so you can go to yourhomewizards.com and you'll see on the home page the recipe for um one of our layer salads that we do and the key is no matter what recipe you do you put the dressing on the bottom so you're saying that one of these salads is going to last in the refrigerator for how long? At least five days. See, that's genius. At least five days. So here, here are the tricks, though. Okay, go. The number one thing is you want to, as you're rinsing the lettuce, Yeah. because with this mason jar, when, when the lid is on, it starts to become almost like a steam bath. Sure. Okay. It's almost fermenting. That's what I put my sauerkraut in. You okay. Know. Yeah. So you want to make sure that all the moisture is gone. So the salad dressing is going to be at the bottom, but you're going to trap it with other thick vegetables and things. Okay. And you layer, 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 you know, and we'll go through the specific layers. Lettuce is always going to be on the very top, the last thing. But before you even get there, as you're chopping and rinsing and making sure you've got crispy lettuce, whatever yeah. type you use, right. make sure that it's really, really dry. So a salad spinner would be it's probably be a great tall, idea. No moisture even, whatsoever. Even maybe lo- salad spinner and then let it sit out and dry, air pa- dry. And paper towel, whatever. Right. Really make sure because otherwise you were going to feel fr- you know, frustrated. Because You're gonna, and the stuff's going to get wilty. It's going to get a little mushy. And you sure. can see, I mean, even though ours was really crispy and dry, I could still see a little bit of some of the steam from inside the mason jar. Oh, okay? interesting. But it was fine. It didn't affect it. Okay. So that's a tip. Um, and the other thing is no matter what salad dressing you do, you know, and you'll need some large, long spoons, to, especially if you have a three-cup mason jar to yeah. get down to the bottom. Okay. And so, but you'd put whatever kind you you like. Okay. So for this recipe, it's mayonnaise, rice vinegar, and whatever kind of a sweetener. So it's kind sure. of a creamy, tart, and sweet. But whatever you like, you like ranch, you like a vinaigrette, you like whatever. You put that in the bottom. The next thing that's is, layer one. Layer one. The next thing is going to be a thick vegetable. Think of it as a bar- a barrier to keep the salad dressing from mushing up the rest of the right. stuff. So that could be bell peppers, celery. Something that doesn't get soggy. Something that doesn't, as exactly. Easily. Yeah. Mushrooms, maybe. Nah, maybe. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It has to be kind of a thick, non-soggy vegetable. That's layer two. Okay. Layer three, now you're starting to feel really flexible. Sure. Now it's like something, come on, bring on the moisture. Bring it on. I don't could care if there's green, moisture. Could be green onions. Yeah. Could be, you know, whatever other, name some of the things you like well, in your salad. you could do cabbage. You could do uh, red, green, yellow peppers. Okay. You could do, you know, uh, cucumbers. Oh, cucumbers, perfect. Right. Then you start to get to the fun stuff like the meats, because I know you like your bacon. Sure, who doesn't? And you might want to have you might, some cheese. Well, yeah, you might be doing like a little, almost like a wedge salad in a jar. You could do, you could do tomatoes. So you wouldn't put tomatoes at the bottom. You no. maybe want to put something else because the tomato is going to be mushy. You want something else. Yeah. Maybe you cheat and put bell peppers in your wedge when yeah. it's not normally there. Then you put the tomatoes. Sure. Then put like some red onions, okay? Then let's say you put the blue cheese crumbles. Yeah. You put the bacon. Mm-hmm. And then the very top is the iceberg lettuce. Done. Yummy. 
And so five days later, you want to sell it, it's there. It's, still it's prepared, good. it's done, it's ready to go. And then when you look in your refrigerator- It looks get, beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's like a terrarium. It's going to make you- Right? It's going to make you want to eat veggies. Now, there's some other ideas, yeah. some other kinds of things you could make. I know you like some fruits and nuts. Well, who do? Oh, yeah, I do. So- So you can do it with that. You could do something very simple. Let's say you wanted to have just kind of a, a triple berry nut salad. You'd have some kind of a honey dressing on the bottom- Right mm-hmm. then, the 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 one the thickest berries maybe like a blackberry. Put that next to the salad dressing because again, layer two is the barrier. Yes, from then, the moisture. Yeah. Then you're free at last. From there, sky's the limit. Strawberries. You might do strawberries. You might do blueberries, your blueberries. Almonds, cashews, whatever. Boy, I got put I, on the I lid. I just ordered some uh, raw cashews. Oh, so good. Yeah. Anyway, go See, ahead. so yep. then you can do this. Isn't that scrumptious? Love it. Yeah. What about beans? You could do beans, right? You could do beans. Same thing, a vinaigrette, maybe some garbanzos, then followed by kidney, some red beans, and even maybe a little couscous, large uh, Goat Israeli cheese? couscous feta? on top. A little you know feta I mean? maybe? Yeah. So, yeah. Man, this is, there's no end to this. So the idea is you can make a bunch of these all at once, and you're going to be not only uh, saving time but saving money. You're going to be saving your health because you'll, you'll want to you're eat eating vegetables. You're eating better. It's yeah. there for you. It looks, it looks good, and it's, it's sealed up, and, and it can last a couple of days. How about a taco salad? Oh, a chicken man. taco salad, you have your kind of a cilantro creamy dressing on the bottom. I'd use corn then as my barrier, or, and then even some black beans because tomatoes— while we love them, that's not going to keep the dressing from mushing up the place. So corn and black beans, layer two and layer three, then tomatoes, and then your chicken, or you want to have whatever kind of meat for your taco salad. Maybe Love it. Okay, and then you put the lettuce on top. There you go again. How about a creamy citrus chicken and orzo salad? What, Why not? What do you like with that? Dressing. Then you do your red pepper. Then you <laughs> do your orzo. <laughs> then you do a little bit of chicken, and then you do some spinach on top. Seal it up. Five days later, there it is. Hello. How did you uh-huh. do this gourmet meal so fast? Oh, it's just a little something I do. See? It's gorgeous. And I love the idea of, of the red pepper again keeping the dressing away. Hmm? Yeah, I love that. Maybe some red onions in there too. Yeah. So Really good idea. And you know what? Even for kid lunches, this is great. You know, the taco salad you could do, chicken salad even. I mean, there's a, the sky's the limit. Be creative. Do your own thing. But- you know, my kids get so sick of me going, please, Dad, not another peanut butter sandwich. You know, bring something into it where it's it's healthful and nutritious. And I love the fact that you can see it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's like a beautiful visual thing, right? It's not just in a Tupperware container. And another tip, by the way, is that it's going to be, you're going to kind of press it in there. Like as you after you put your salad dressing in and then yeah. your layers of vegetables, when you get to the lettuce part, you'll realize that you're pressing it in it's almost like you're shoving you know socks into that drawer sure. <laughs> into your garment drawer yep. you can just press it and shove 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 to get a little bit more lettuce in there right and by the way those pint-sized jars i mean those are great like for individual side salads or for kids yeah you know, and you know what i love too about when you're packing a salad you generally have to have a dressing in another container this kind of condenses it all into yep. one one container yeah it's great and now you can you can see everything you aren't worried about what, what was in that it isn't going to go to waste right because right. let's say that it was out of sight out of mind that's it how many times have you gone to get your lettuce in the uh, produce drawer and wilted, it's and it's soggy, wilted done. right yep so really this is so this is so helpful in so many ways because it's not only going to encourage you to eat better yeah but you're going to see what you're eating, and it's gonna it's gonna last a long time, and wow, so and it's the key is that you screw that lid on the jar, you know, um, in that mason jar, and it, seriously, it's gonna last five five days, maybe even a few more. Listen to this one. What's that? Balsamic vinegar layer one, diced yellow pepper layer two, blueberries Ooh. layer three, cooked and crumbled bacon four, toasted almonds five, and of course on top arugula or spinach. What's that sound like? Scrumptious. Deliciosian. See, it sounds really, really good. Is that a word? It, I think it works, I think yeah. I made it up. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, basically, it's it's almost like you could uh, you could take this to someone's home as a as a party gift, too. Let's say the gift that, of salad. Let's say that you were in charge of making the salad for, you know, the latest movie viewing party that you're going to go to. Yeah. And you would just uh, take a few of these large mason jars come to the party with the jars. In fact, you could let them have the jars. That almost looks like it's it's better than wine. It's a nice well, it's a nice well, 
It's that's a, tied it's with a, wine. It's, it's a, tied with wine. <laughs> to, better? Oh, wait. <laughs> I, by the way, you know, I, I collect wine corks um, to do, do and wine bottles to do different artsy, craftsy things. Yep. And I'm going to do something with all of the above. Uh, so right now I have them staged out um, in the back by our little garden uh, table. And I noticed when I was at Michael's that they sell used wine corks. Like, do they know, really? From, I don't know, like for maybe, I don't know, $7. And I'm thinking maybe I should sell some of mine on eBay. Man, I'm telling you, that might be a good idea. Because you know what else? Wine corks are great for bulletin boards. They're great for everything. You know, you, you kind of do them in a herringbone pattern. I love that. Glue it down onto a frame. Great idea to pin stuff up. Great for a keychain. But I'll tell you, why buy used corks when you can just drink the wine and have your own? Oh, I know. Yeah, thank you. So, but back to mason jars. Yeah. You do want to buy the mason jar. Yeah, and you I, do. I think that this is something that you're going to love in terms of having food that lasts longer. You know, just make sure that you start with a clean, wide mouth jar that is completely dry. Yeah. Um, you know, always start with that, that dressing on the bottom. And always have that, that washed lettuce that's sat out for a couple hours so that it really yeah. air dries. And one that's more little tip. Critical. One yeah. more little tip, by yes. the way, that I did for one of my, as I was do, uh, doing my A and B of the different kinds, uh-huh. I added a a little paper towel that I tuck on top of the lettuce inside the jar before oh, I put the lid on. that's a good idea. And that also seemed to help because that'll absorb any of that kind it of steam. It wicks away moisture, for crying out loud. A little bit of that, you know. Yeah. So. And we didn't even get into yogurt parfaits. Hello. Or cottage cheese layers. You can do, I mean, there's so many. The sunflower seeds. Peas. You could, do, you could do yogurt, fruit, layer, a layer of sunflower seeds, maybe some blueberries on top. Done. in the store. Scrumptious. So if you go to yourhomewizards.com, by the way, you can see right there um, our family recipe that uses the, you know, the mayo dressing and then the bell peppers, bacon, peas, cheese. Oh, Yum. Scrumptious. Anyway, we have more fun to talk about. We love to improve your home and improve your life. I'm staring out into the night. Trying to hide the pain 